The movie begins with a story telling us about some set of guardians ready to sacrifice themselves for the world called the Shalin. Four ancient beasts called Hun Dun Tao Wu, Chong Chi, and Tao Tai invaded the world to end humankind. Suddenly a group of people called the Shalins arrived to face the beast. They are a group of guardians that controlled metal, plant, water, fire, and earth. With this fundamental elements each of them possesses, they used it to battle with the beast courageously. But unfortunately, the beast was way too powerful to be defeated. These guardians then decides to combine their powers and it produced the element of wind, which brings out a massive energy that was able to seal the vicious beast beneath the earth forever and finally bring peace and prosperity back to the human world. These Shalin spirits were passed down from generation to generation so they can keep protecting the human world from any invading enemy. Those who got the symbol on their palm were identified as the Shalin. The movie cuts to the present day. We see a group of gangs chasing after a guy called Lang Ming. The guy was gifted with an outstanding hearings, making him to even hear what other people could not hear. What Lang Ming did to earn a living was to sell information books that was related to the history of Shalin. Lang Ming has the Shalin symbol on his palm, making him to believe he is a Shalin, and uses it to persuade a bunch of kids to buy some of his information books, as he tells them he's a Shalin. Suddenly the firecracker gangs arrived at his shop, and every single person runs away, as they are afraid of them. The leader of this gang is really so huge, and approaches Lang Ming, threatening him hand over all the money from his sales to them. But Lang Ming was not scared of them a bit, even when their leader even did some scary stuffs, like swallowing explosives. The gang are distracted for a moment, as the explosives caused pain in their leader's stomach. Before they could realize it, Lang Ming had already started making his escape, making them to chase after him. This was actually what caused the chase at the beginning. He could run, but he couldn't hide forever. The gang surrounded him, and Lang Ming shouted, calling Sister Mei. This woman is called Sister Mei. Whenever Lang Ming is in danger, he calls onto her name, and she always appears immediately to save him from the danger, because she's Lang Ming's mother. She grabs Lang Ming, and was about to take him away, but the gangs didn't let them pass. Immediately, she slaps them, and threatens to report to their parents, making the gangs afraid, and allowing her and Lang Ming to pass. Later on, his mother suggested to him not to waste his time at the market anymore, and tells him to join her by using his talent at the casino, since he has super hearings. They played a lot of games, and lost none. The people in the casino gets furious about this, and threw them out of the casino, thinking they were just cheating. But it was just Lang Ming hearing abilities. His mother is in dismay, because of his dead father. She blamed it all on the Shalin stuffs his father all talks about, as he believed in it so much. He even did experiments on Lang Ming, which brought sadness to his mother, as his father was nowhere to be found one day, when he was riding a wind, and was assumed dead. We see a girl having a conversation with a mysterious man in a lake. She was sent on a secret mission by the man, that even the Shalins doesn't know about. She is told to steal something precious called the top, and shows her an illusion of how it looks like. On the other hand, we see Lang Ming's mother in the medicine shop. We find out that all the money she gets from the casinos, she uses it to buy medicines, so Lang Ming will be able to see again. Lang Ming is now at the state of confusion, as he wonders whether the Shalin's guardians really existed. Or does the symbol on his palm means nothing? Because he hasn't seen any signs of them, even though he believes in their existence so much. Lang Ming hears a strange whistling, and so he stands up, and started to trace the sound. We see that girl we saw at the lake again, as she has already gotten to the place she was sent by the mysterious man. She tried to take the precious top, but couldn't. Due to an evil inside of her called the Zero Force. She senses someone coming, and hit herself. But it was Lang Ming who is still tracing where the whistling sound is coming from. Lang Ming finally reaches the destination, and easily removes the top from the bulb, which releases a powerful energy, leaving the girl at shock, as she wonders who he is. The girl comes out when Lang Ming sensed her presence, and openly tells him to hand over the top to her. Lang Ming believes what he is holding could be precious, so he demanded for a payment, in exchange for the top. The cave suddenly started to collapse, and the girl goes to take the top from him by force. Although Lang Ming is blind, he dodges all her blows, even though the girl is a very skillful fighter. In attempt to prevent the girl from taking the top, he mistakenly swallows it, and falls off the cliff, as the place was collapsing. Lang Ming wakes up in the middle of the forest, only to be having a very serious headache. Lang Ming suddenly notices that he can actually see again, 
which was so exciting for him, as he can now finally see how beautiful nature is, and will now be able to know how his mother looks like. We still see the girl again, as she is still following him from afar. Langming hurries back to his village, but it sounded so unusual, as the whole place was so quiet, and he sees the entire environment destroyed. A gigantic demon suddenly appears in front of him, with a big sharp teeth, and tried to kill him. Lang Ming being afraid, makes a run for it. As the demon captures, and was about to devour him, he was suddenly rescued by a guy, who can control the earth. We also see other set of people who joins him. These people are the Shaolins, who controlled the five elements. Lang Ming couldn't believe that his father was actually right, concerning the Shaolins' true existence. The Shaolin battles with the demon, and with their combined powers, they defeated the demon. All the villagers then comes out, and appreciated them for saving their village from the demon. Lang Ming asks them if they have the Shellin symbol on their palm, and they said yes. And they prove it by showing the villagers. Their symbol was entirely different from the one Lang Ming had on his palm, making all the villagers to call him a liar. They all became suspicious of him, as one night he was blind, and the next day he suddenly regained his sight, and blamed him for the demon appearance in their village. All the children started to throw the items he sold to them, believing it was fake, which left Lang Ming so heartbroken. Suddenly one of the villagers sees the demon escaping, and the Shailin decided to divide themselves, to find the demon. We see Lang Ming hurrying back home, to tell his mother about his regained sight. But when he arrives, he sees the whole place is totally destroyed. He shouted his mother's name so many times, but he got no response, making him to fall on his knees crying. The girl suddenly appeared in front of him again, and tells him all the damages in his house, was caused by a demon. She makes a deal with him, that if she helps him find his mother, Lang Ming must hand over the top in exchange. Desperately, Lang Ming accepted the deal, and follows her. During their journey, the Shailin attacks the girl, because they sensed a zero force in her. The zero force is an evil power, that was sealed away from the world long time ago. The Shailin confirms it with their powers, as a circle appeared on her forehead, which proves she has the zero force in her. They fought with her, but the powers in the girl was way too strong. The Shailin are already weak from the fight, and tells Lang Ming to help capture her. But Lang Ming couldn't bring himself to capture her, because she is the only one who could assist him to find his mother, so he escapes with her. Lang Ming wakes her up from unconsciousness, and shockingly, he sees the circle the Shellins were talking about. She tries to grab the top away from Lang Ming by force. Realizing that the zero force inside of her was out of control, she tells Lang Ming to run away, who she might bring harm to him. She instructs him to tell her a good and happy story, so that the zero force inside of her will be calm. Suddenly, he tells her a story, which was secretly about himself, but he changed everything to an happy story, to calm the zero force inside of her. He tells her a story of a boy at a tender age who was loved and cared for, even though he was blind. The little boy normally sits happy with his both parents, enjoying the wind, and all he felt was love. When he grew up, he left his home to pursue his dreams as he has always wanted to be a respectable Shailin just like his father. Fortunately, the boy's dreams came to pass, as the symbol on his palm qualified him into being a Shailin, and he was handed the responsibility, to protect the people from harm. Immediately he finished the story, the girl was already asleep, as the spirit finally became calm. Later when she is awake, she tells him that she really used to be a normal girl just like him, but she suddenly lost all her memories, and was told by someone, that if she can bring the top back to him, she can return to normal life. During their conversation, Lang Ming hears a sound outside the caves, and they decided to follow it. They suddenly ended up at a village, where they see a large amount of people praying to their god. The villager sees Lang Ming and the girl, and immediately captured them. After a long discussion between themselves, they concluded to use Lang Ming and the girl for sacrifice to their god. Lang Ming desperately says to them that he's a Shailin, and the girl was his wife. He convinces them by showing the symbol on his palm. But the villagers still wanted to prove, and releases him, saying to him to use his powers in front of them. He did one of his little tricks, which made them too easily believe he is a Shailin, and started to treat him like a god. But funny enough, things still go as planned, as the villagers felt sacrificing a Shailin will be more beneficial, so they went on with the sacrifice. On the other hand, we see some of the Shailins, who are still tracing the demon. Meanwhile the sacrifice has already started, as we see the villagers dancing, singing, and throwing flowers. After a long festival, the village chief tells them the sacrifice is over, which surprises them, as they didn't get harmed. He explains to them that water was the way of communicating with their god. 
by putting them inside the water, and asking his people to sing and dance, it was all intended to convey a very important message to their god. The village leader apologizes to them for the inconveniences, and told the villagers to prepare a room for them to stay for the night. Later that night, we see the girl talking to the mysterious man, that sent her on the mission to collect the top. The girl reminds the man to fulfill his promise, when she takes the top from Lang Ming. The mysterious person is later revealed to be a man called Jai Yi, who wants to use the top powers to free his evil god. But the girl had no idea about this. Lang Ming and the girl sits outside to have a talk, and the girl reveals to him that what's on his palm, is not a shell and symbol, but a scar, making him so disappointed. Lang Ming believes comes from a long time ago, when he was still little. He saved a kid from a firework, but ended up getting a scar from it. Little Lang Ming was crying to his father because of the scar. But his father attempts to brighten him up, by telling him it's not just a scar, but a shell and symbol. And this made him believe he was also chosen as a shell and, to protect the world from harm. This time around, Lang Ming became demotivated for the first time, as he concluded that he is not really a shellin. Lang Ming has been having a very serious stomach problem, since he swallowed the top. The girl reports his problem to the village chief, and to her surprise, the village chief knows the top she was talking about, and tells them to follow him. The village chief tells them a history of their village. That long time ago, a man went into the caves to collect medical herbs. But mistakenly, a mysterious force entered his body, and he immediately lost his memories, and always started feel hungry, and wanted to eat anything he sees. At the moment when the man was about to swallow his two friends, a savior appears, and sealed the top where no one can find it. But the hero died in the process of doing that. By this story, Lang Ming realizes that the top the village chief was talking about, is what is inside his stomach, making him scared. But the village chief assures him, that he will find a way to bring the top out of his stomach. Meanwhile, he questions the girl, to know the reason why she needed the top, since it was really dangerous. Lang Ming believes that it was the top that made him to see again. But if the top could make the girl to get back to her life, then he is ready to make the sacrifice of being blind again, in exchange for her freedom. All his words made the girl so astonished, and started to fall for him. Lang Ming's stomach started to swell up, as if he is pregnant. The girl started to take care of him, and their relationship started to grow bigger. One day, Lang Ming senses the top is about to get out of his stomach, so they immediately rush to the bathroom. After a few minutes the top finally came out. Firstly Lang Ming gives her a bracelet she has been admiring for a while in the market. As Lang Ming has already noticed, and bought it for her, making her so impressed. He also brought out the top and tries to give it to her. Suddenly, she changes her mind, and decided to only take the bracelet. While Lang Ming can keep the top, since it helps him see. Immediately, they continued their journey to find his mother. Suddenly, the girl's master appears, and the girl quickly grabbed the top from him, telling him that she lied about knowing where his mother is, and tells him to run away. She gives the top to her master, making Lang Ming so confused, and disappointed. Immediately, the Shellans arrives, and tries to stop Jai Yi. The Shellan seems to know Jai Yi, as he is very evil, and tells Lang Ming that he was the one that brought the Zero Force to the world. They try to fight him, but he disappears with the girl, before they could even fight him. The Shellan goes away to finish their mission, leaving Lang Ming behind. He returns to the village so depressed, and asks for forgiveness from the villagers, since he lied to them. And the demon caused a lot of destruction in their village. But they immediately forgives him, as they know what it feels like, to protect people they care about. Lang Ming believes that if he can find the girl, he might have a clue on where his mother is. So he goes forward in finding her. Lang Ming goes to the mountaintop, and uses his super hearing abilities, to track where Jai Yi and the girl headed to. Meanwhile, we see the girl, asking Jai Yi, to fulfill his promise by making her to be free again. But Jai Yi had deceived her all these while, and tells her she is going to die from the zero force inside of her. Jai Yi plans to use the top to release a very dangerous demon called, Tao Tai. Believing when he does that, he will take control over the world. Lang Ming successfully infiltrated the caves when Jai Yi left, and threatens the girl concerning his mother whereabouts. Calmly, she tells him to follow her, and takes him to a place in the caves, full of those demons. She sadly revealed that his mother is among these demons, and explains to him that all those demons were human. Until Jai Yi turned them into demons, so he can use for his evil schemes. She reveals that his mother is going to die. As the Jai Yi plans to sacrifice all those demons as food, for Tao Tai. The powerful demon he's about to release. 
she told him that it wasn't her will to partake in any of these, because Jai Yi was the one controlling her. She concludes that Tao Tai is a demon, who can make any desire come true, in exchange of being his own food. That was why his mother is a monster, because she's the reason Lang Ming is able to see again. Lang Ming cries really bad, as he realizes that the demon that was chasing after him at the village, is his mother. And she wasn't trying to attack him, she just only wanted to confirm if he can actually see again. Suddenly everywhere started to shake, and all those demons started to head towards Tao Tai to be sacrificed. Lang Ming started to call on his mom's name, wishing she could hear him, so he can have a final moment with her. But it was too risky for him to stay down there, until he got driven away by the demons that were running. The girl begs him to stop because he was putting himself in danger, but he wasn't listening. Lang Ming yells out more louder this time, calling his mom's name, and a demon looks back, and started to run towards him, that was his mother. The other demons started to fall into the pit, for the sacrifice. His mom tries her best to reach onto him, but could not make it, due to the force of the running demons were so powerful. Lang Ming started to cry, as he couldn't save his mom. Jai Yi suddenly appears, and laughs on how the world was amazingly sorrowful. Fortunately, the Shailin arrives, in attempt to stop him. Jai Yi quickly throws the top where the sacrifice was held, and calls on Tao Tai to come out, but nothing really happened. Immediately, the Shailin's goes to attack him. It was a really tough fight, as Jai Yi is so powerful. But as the Shailin joined their force together, he was no match for their combined powers. Everywhere started to shake, and light suddenly disappears from the world, as Tao Tai is about to be awakened. A gigantic rock started to elevate up to the air, and the almighty energy unleashes numerous balls of flames, that started to destroy the village. The girl tries to kill Jai Yi, but unfortunately, he was still in control of her, and tells her to kill Lang Ming. She couldn't free herself from the control, and killed herself instead. The girl apologizes to Lang Ming for everything, and as she is about to express her feelings for him, she died, and her body turned into ashes. This was a very devastating moment, as Lang Ming kept on losing everyone that loved, and cared for him. Lang Ming now realized that his father never lied to him, as those demons are real, he remembers when his father told him that, only when a person is blind like him, he can be able to use the wind spell. He started to squeeze his eyes which made him blind, and he jumps off the cliff, as he believes he might trigger the wind spell, which might make him a Shailin, that controls wind. Tao Tai is finally free, which causes many villagers to lose their life in the process, because of the demon massive energy. The Shailens tries to trap Tao Tai like they did before, but this time his powers grew more stronger, making him unstoppable. All the Shailens has given up and the villagers began to pray, as Tao Tai is about to destroy them all. Suddenly a powerful wind comes from nowhere, and stops Tao Tai. We see Lang Ming who is now blind, controlling a powerful wind, as he appears to face Tao Tai. All the villagers were so shocked, that Lang Ming is actually a Shellen. Lang Ming is in a god mode, as he goes around Tao Tai with a powerful wind, causing a tornado. His almighty power suddenly makes all the people that was turned to a demon by Tao Tai, to be human again. Tao Tai was finally defeated, and peace is brought back to the world. Everyone from that day on, started to respect Lang Ming. And we see Lang Ming with his mother together again. And that was how the movie ended. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel, and keep watching. Bye.